Hi everybody, here again with more Rivet Training. Uh, in this exercise, we're going to look at, uh, I'm going to show you two ways how to create a step foundation or step footing. So this is the normal way most of the most is done. Um, we're going to be in our east elevation here. And we want to select this wall and then we want to edit the profile. Well, this way is a little longer. So what you do here, you'll take this and drag this down to about here. So basically, we're doing this whole profile, and we'll pull this dot, I would say, about there, and then we'll draw these lines in. I'll take this up about, let's go about 2 6, and we'll come here and go up another. This, this just depends. You can go any di di uh, dimension the engineer wants, and we'll come across here, we'll adjust to there, and we'll go up uh, another 18 inches, and come over here, and then we'll close this shape off with this trim to extend. And then once we have it in, we'll just click finish. And then there you have your, uh, so look at this in 3D view. Let's put some shade here as well. So there it is in our 3D view. Here we have our stepped up foundation. Now this way is good, but here, now I didn't have any created. You might want to do an in-place family to set that, fix that. Okay, so this, this, this method requires a little work. So I want to show you another way you can do this. I think we want to go into our west elevation now. So in this method, I like this a little better. You might want to go here into our modify tab we want to split so let's just split this here let's split one here this is going to be anywhere and do another split here so I'm going to just what I want to do I want to split these walls up so once I have these walls split I can just select each wall and I'll change my base offset. So I will make this one okay, let's do it like this. Make this simple and let's make this one foot for this wall. Uh oh, sorry. Let's undo that. Make it one inch. Let's make it one foot. There's our one foot for that one. Let's grab this wall. Let's make this one two feet. This wall, we'll make this one three. And this one, let's make it four. Just keeping it real simple, folks. And click apply. Now, by splitting the walls, if I go into my 3D view once again here, and let's go over to the left side. So there you have that stepped up wall. But now with splitting the walls, you can do this. You can select.
this wall here, and we can grab this little dot and pull this over, let's say, one foot. And it joins in. And we can grab this wall, or either wall, or either footing, and bring this over another foot. And the same with this one. So there you have it. Two different types of uh, footings, stepped up footings in Revit 2020. So I wanted to show you that I had a question about this, this brief video. So I, I, I mean, you can do these either way, but over here I think you might want to add a family, an in place family. Or this one by splitting the walls here and just pulling it to join into the other footing. So, hey, folks, thanks for watching. Uh, like this video, comment, or subscribe. Uh, be nice to join me and all of our others in Rivet training. Thank you and have a good one. Bye.